Tweeting shows one journalist's ignorance. Apple lawyer smoke crack. And Facebook isn't worth anything because it isn't worth anything. Hey, everybody, welcome. I'm Just Duke. This is my take. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my take. And this is just that. My take on stuff and uh, just uh, my opinion for what it's worth, which probably isn't a whole lot, but I get to say it, don't I? Okay, let's get on to the topics. Okay, so we got this Media Matters journalist named Eric Bolert, and he tweeted the following. Kind of lame, former Navy SEALs don't have guts to admit they're running a GOP anti-Obama campaign. Dude, let me tell you something. Secrets are secrets, and they probably don't need to be shared. And the SEALs, these former SEALs, they're concerned over secrets that are getting shared. And it puts their other SEAL buddies at risk. So they're trying, they've, they've got this movement. I would think that wouldn't be a GOP issue. I, th- I would think it would be an American issue. And, and you, you say they don't have guts? Dude, let me tell you something. Have, have you ever watched the movies? Have you ever seen what these SEALs go through in real life? Do you have even a clue as to some of the missions that the SEALs have performed over the last several years? And you say they have no guts? Come on, man. Let me tell you something. These SEALs, they do more to protect America before breakfast than most journalists, like yourself, I'm sorry, but like yourself, have done in your entire careers. Okay? You owe these guys an apology. And that's all I'm going to say on that topic. Moving on. Okay, let's talk about technology. You know, I I don't know about you guys, but I am sick and tired of Apple suing people. It just, I mean, every time I flip on the TV, open up the Internet, Apple suing somebody. Apparently, I'm not by myself because Lucy Coe is a judge overseeing the case in, in Apple versus Samsung right now. Apple has four hours left to call rebuttal witnesses, and they present her a 75-page document of people that they want to call in four hours. Maybe I didn't make myself clear. I want to make sure you understand this. They didn't. I didn't say they're going to call 75 people. I said they're going to call 75 pages worth of people in four hours. So she, she looks at this list, and her reply is, this is ridiculous. Unless you're smoking crack, you know these witnesses aren't going to be called. All I've got to say is thank you, Judge Lucy Coe. I suspected for a while now that Apple themselves are all smoking crack. Why else would they be trying to sue all these people so that they can just get money to to smoke even more crack? I mean, addictions do cost money. We all know that. And, And listen, why I'm here. Toyota, listen up. I was sitting at a red light the other day. A Nissan truck pulls up beside me almost the same color as mine. It even had four wheels and a radio. So, Toyota, I believe you've got a lawsuit here. Just uh, giving you this heads up because, uh, man, I can't believe that those guys would rip you off like that. Even down to the wheels, man. It's just it's shocking. All right, gang. On the social media... <laughs> Okay, here's the deal. Facebook opened a few months ago, 38 bucks a share. It closed Friday at $19.05. I personally think that's still too much money for Facebook. Uh, I know they got 900 million quadrillion users, but nobody's really proven that they're going to make bukus of money off all those users. I mean, let's face it. Uh, you know, uh, those users are wishing each other happy birthday or uh, uh, checking in somewhere, and uh, I'm, I'm not. I still don't see how that makes profits. And uh, I love to compare Facebook to Ford Motor Company. Excuse me, Ford closed uh, the day uh, 
to Friday at, at under ten dollars. And uh, you know, Ford makes a product; they ship it out all over the world, and, and they're profitable even in this economy. And if Ford's only worth ten dollars, I would value Facebook at around four or five. Maybe there is uh, advertising dollars to be made over all those users, but Facebook has yet to prove it. And until they do, twenty bucks is too much for it. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's talk about this week's hero. <coughs> this week's hero is the Navy SEAL. And uh, Navy SEALs, thank you guys for all you do to keep me and my family safe. I appreciate everything that you guys do and all that you sacrifice. And uh, thank you so much. This week's idiot. <coughs> That's right. It's Eric Bolert. Eric, if I can offer you some advice, anytime you let your politics, be them conservative or liberal, override common sense, you're probably going to say something you're going to regret. Hey gang, this is just Duke, and you've just listened to my take. You guys have a good one.